hello guys and welcome as you can see we are finally done with Twitter clone app section but we don't see that we have run the application yet so go to twitter.swift then you can see that we have implemented all the, uh, the required functions uh, of uh, UI table view cell, uh, UI table view. Sorry. All right. So let's run it to see what we got. Unfortunately, we can't see any data in the table. Why is that? <laughs> There is something tricky about it because when you have created a function load data you didn't uh, return uh, anything because it's void function right so you have to call this function inside another function to load it once the app is loaded you have two functions one is view did load to uh, load data to call this function once or the another uh, function called view did appear to load data data every time the view is appear so i'm going to use this function is because it's better to call this function you have to write self dot the name of the function which is load data without any parameters now if you run it again you can see that this is the problem all right you can see that we have ihaml which is the username and test which is the content and date and time generated by parse from Xcode project um, and profile image. You can go to parse and the username to check if the, the specific user has been uh, tweeted. Yes, it's iHamad. And if you click on the image, the image will open and you see that my image has been appeared right and go to Twitter you can see that test is here you can play with it test me right you don't have any button to refresh so let's stop it and run it again to make changes or reload data yeah test me all right go back to parse if you want to add any uh, any a new tweet just click on row uh, go to content new tweet all right copy this object and paste it here to refer the publisher to this uh, tweet run it again you can see that we have two one new uh, new tweet and another test me with the same username and profile image but different date and time all right but the problem is has been just begun if you take this project and submit it to App Store, App Store will reject it easily with so many guidelines to check uh, in the whole list. Why is that? Because it's not worth it. Right? Yeah, because uh, mm, it depends how it looks. You can ask yourself, is this what users want or not? 
so it's not if I see this in App Store I'll not download it sorry about that <laughs> so how you can deal with it in this course I told you that we are going to build great apps to play to build the great apps you need Swift templates ready to use simple and easy to integrate so this is my solution go to Safari and open your web browser to awaldbh.com this website if you go to shop then scroll down you can see that I have Swift templates these Swift templates will save your time and write less code with flat design which is unique and of course it will be functional without issues and errors at lowest price the first one was the first one is activity template written in Swift with a lot of features it's only about ten dollars right so cheap I have it here let's play it let's run it and see what you got this is activity it's fade when it's run uh, the, the content will maximize and minimize when it's possible to fit the uh, content all right it display the profile image and the type of uh, this uh, this tweet the username and the title the date and time and content so awesome so this uh, this template is good starting point to integrate your app to make it great so go ahead and buy it it's so cheap it's only ten dollars all right the second one is displaying the, the photos and UI table of view it's not an UI a collection of you that is different between them all right this photo table is so perfect and so nice I'll, uh, I'll give you a quick demo in the, uh, in the section about uh, Instagram clone app I'm gonna show you how you can uh, uh, integrate it so easily alright but if you know what you can uh, integrate it just buy it and if you have any question you can uh, ask me easily uh, the last one is login and sign up template also in Swift and all of these are integrated with parse backend online server this on login and sign up template have feature for to log out and sign in and register and request uh, if you forgot your password and display profile image uh, these are my top uh, Swift templates so go ahead and support me with uh, buying these templates it's so good to have these uh, in your apps uh, to save your time and make it good <laughs> all right so finally we have finished this section about making Twitter clone app I hope you uh, learned enough and if you have any question don't hesitate to uh, ask me anything in discussion in the course or in uh, comments below alright one more thing don't forget to review 
my course and share it with your friends it's totally free except these templates <laughs> more templates are, are coming soon alright thank you guys see you to the next section